In this video, let us uh, quickly see the use of different options in the program RSLDAP under uh, sync underscore user uh, that we used for creating uh, user IDs in SAP from the LDAP system. So let us go and execute the program again. And we are not going to create any user IDs or uh, you know work with any data here. Uh, we'll just see how these different options so can be used for uh, user administration. So we, when we created the user ID, for creation of the user ID, we used uh, compare timestamp or radio button from objects that exist both in directory and database. Uh, because we wanted to create the user ID in SAP, we chose creating database option in objects that exist only exist in directory, and then in uh, objects that only exist in database, we choose uh, ignore objects. Now, these parameter, these uh, these selection options, will create the user ID in the SAP system. And that is the SAP, the database, SAP database. But of course, you know we haven't used any uh, information here as far as the LDAP system is concerned. But you would have to enter the LDAP server name. Uh, then you have to enter the LDAP connector. Depending on the filter you choose, you can choose the filter, or you can create specific user IDs. And of course, you have this multiple selection box here too, where you can enter. If you know the user IDs, LDAP user IDs, you can enter them here and the IDs will get created uh, for you. So for creating the user IDs, the radio buttons are compare timestamp in uh, objects that exist, exist both in uh, directory and in the database. Then creating database radio button is for objects that only exist in directory and uh, objects that only exist in database in that box you select ignore objects. With this criteria you can create the user ID in the SAP system. Now what is the option for uh, uh, let's say deleting the user ID uh, meaning deleting the user IDs that do not exist in LDAP, the Active Directory system. So which means when the user leaves the company, uh, let's say uh, the LDAP team deletes the user ID uh, from their system. So how do we synchronize uh, the SAP system and uh, delete the user ID from SAP system also using RSLDAP sync underscore user. So I execute that program, RSLDAP sync underscore user. And uh, like you normally do for uh, user provisioning, you enter the LDAP server and the LDAP connector name. You can enter the user ID here or a bunch of user IDs. Or you can use a filter uh, to mask, you know, and delete the user IDs. Now, to delete the user IDs, from objects that exist both in directory and in the database, select compare timestamp. Then objects that only in exist in directory, select create in database. And objects that only exist in database. This is important here because ID has been deleted from LDAP. Now what you're trying to do is delete the ID from SAP database. So select delete from database option. So with this selection criteria, compare timestamp, creating database, and delete from database, these options will help you delete the user IDs that do not uh, exist in LDAP system. So the IDs get deleted from the SAP database, SAP system with these parameters. Now, let us see how do we lock user IDs in SAP, uh, IDs that do not exist in LDAP anymore. We want to lock those user IDs. So, execute the program. Uh, 
the cam. Now this time our purpose, uh, we, we want to see how, how do we lock, what are the selection criteria parameters uh, for uh, locking the user IDs in SAP which do not exist in the LDAP system. So for locking the user IDs, again, you know, you enter the LDAP server information, then you enter the user ID or a bunch of user IDs using multiple selection field. And, and then you do from objects that exist both in directory and in the database, select compare timestamp. In objects that only exist in directory, select ignore objects. And from objects that only exist in database, select lock. Now this would be an option that you frequently use because uh, normal practice is that when you, you employ or a user leaves the company, uh, the IDs, user IDs in, in SAP are not immediately uh, deleted. They are actually locked for a certain period of time. What that period is, for how many months, how many days, depends on customer to customer. It could not vary from anywhere from um, as 90 days to 180 days. Uh, Time, time frame. So, uh, depending on what your uh, policy is, you would lock, like to lock the user IDs. So, to locking for locking the user IDs that do not exist, that exist in SAP but do not exist in LDAP, you will choose uh, this selection criteria. One from objects that exist both in directory and database, you select compare timestamp. And objects that only exist in directories, you ignore the objects. And then objects that only exist in database, you select log database, lock in database. So using these parameters, you can log the user IDs in the SAP system, uh, user IDs that do not exist in the back to directory system. Now, what will be the parameters for uh, existing, updating existing user IDs in SAP but not creating user IDs from LDAP? Meaning the IDs exist in uh, both SAP as well as on the LDAP side. But say, yeah, assuming there are some changes uh, made to the user, user record on the LDAP side, how does the, how do you get that updated in SAP system also. So if you want to update the user IDs in SAP, uh, whose, user inform, whose information has been modified without creating the new user IDs from LDAP into SAP, you execute the same program, RSLDAP underscore user, execute that program, and then after entering your user ID information, uh, you select compare timestamp objects that exist both in directory and in database. Select that. Then from objects that only exist in the directory, uh, select ignore objects. And objects that only exist in database in that box, select ignore objects also again. So you're just comparing the differences between the SAP system and the LDAP, the differences uh, in the user ID in the SAP system and the uh, LDAP system. You're just comparing that data and updating it. So for uh, updating existing user IDs in SAP, uh, but not actually creating them, actually updating them, you select these parameters. Compare timestamp, uh, ignore objects, and ignore objects. So with this selection criteria, you you can update the user IDs in SAP system. Now let us see another scenario where you want to update where you want to update existing user IDs in LDAP with the record from SAP. 
Now, this is a scenario where uh, normally you won't have it because customers don't prefer uh, data going from SAP into LDAP. Uh, so the, the data flow uh, is not something preferable. Um, data flow meaning data going from SAP into, uh, into the LDAP system. So, but anyway, so let us see how do we update the user IDs that exist in SAP uh, which that inform the information from SAP, you update that in the LDAP system. So, so if you want to update the user IDs in LDAP, whose uh, information has been modified in SAP without creating new user IDs from SAP into LDAP, then you select uh, the options uh, like this. So compare timestamp in objects that exist both in directory and in database. And uh, objects that only exist in directory, you select ignore objects. So if you want to update the user IDs in LDAP whose information has been modified in SAP without creating new user IDs from SAP into LDAP, uh, you choose uh, compare timestamp in objects that exist both in directory and in database. Objects that only exist in directory, you select in that box, you select ignore objects. And objects that only exist in database, you select ignore objects again. So with these parameters, uh, you can update existing user IDs in LDAP with a record from SAP system. So we, what we have seen here is uh, in this demo is uh, the different how these options can be used for uh, managing the user information either in SAP system or in the LDAP system.